people you know, say you're not going to make it in the sport. You're not going to be nothing. You're just wasting your life. You know, you should go to school, go to college, and get a real job. And then what, you know, be a regular 9 to 5 average motherfucker. I hate my coworkers. I want to fucking choke them, you know what I mean? My boss is talking shit to me. I'll beat the fuck out of him, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck that, you know? That's why I chose this life. Once they close that fucking cage door, you know, it's all business, you know? I'm being there to take his fucking head off just like he's going to be in there to take mine off. I'm in Toronto. I'm a professional MMA fighter with a professional record of nine wins and two losses. I used to do, uh, you know, physical sports. You know, it's football, and I used to be into bodybuilding. My cousin Jesse Titano said, "Why don't you try jujitsu?" And he had a gym, so uh, it was a little hole in the wall called Ground Food. I was like, "Yeah, I'll give it a shot." You know, he was throwing me around and choking me, armbarring me, and kicking me in the face and stuff, and just you know beating my ass. Here I am. You know, 209 pounds, lean muscle, you know, and he's 130 pounds, just, you know, destroying me. You know, I was embarrassed, and uh, maybe I want to do this too, you know, instead of looking big and, you know, me, you know, I'll, I want to be able to kick some ass. I seen some, uh, you know, young kid coming in. He's quiet. He would take the bus a long way to, to come train every single day. Probably spending hours on the bus, you know, so we knew he had dedication. Everyone wants to be a fighter. Like, oh, I want to be a fighter. Like, yeah, okay, come to practice. And then we smash them, and then the next day they don't come back. We gave them like the traditional, you know, beatings and stuff, and they, every day came back. You know, uh, you want to test the guys that you're gonna train with heart, because uh, that that tells you if they're worth a shit. If they have no heart, then they might as well they're, they're waste of time. My biggest victory and greatest fight in my career was my Strike Force debut against AJ Matthews. You know, I was an underdog. You know, he was undefeated. Everyone was expecting me to lose. I took everything he had and kept coming forward and pushing. Knocked him out and got the win. The feeling that I had when my hand was raised, you know, better than any feeling, you know. It's just like when a drug addict gets high, the feeling that they get that it makes them steal, it makes them do whatever to get that feeling, you know, it's just, that's how I felt when I, my hand was raised at the end of the day. It's, it's unexplainable, man, you know what I mean? It's just the greatest feeling you could feel. There's a lot of politics in the sport. I mean, it's a lot of connections and all who you know. There's definitely some guys in spots that I think don't deserve it. At the end of the day, they do work hard, but what I'm saying is that there's some guys that I think I'm better than that I can beat and I should be in their spot. You know? I work just hard, if not harder than them. And just because who they know or who they're related to, you know, they get a little bit further. It's all about favoritism and stuff like that. And at the end of the day, you know, it's all about your fan following what kind of fighter you are. No one likes a boring fight. Everyone likes a slugfest. Everyone likes to see that comeback win. They watch you getting destroyed and then you just come back and just win, just knock this guy out or, or get that, that flying submission, that, that awesome win. And they want to see you go to war. That's what they want. It's entertainment. It, it's the closest to semi-death that we can get. My goal as an MMA is to be world champ, you know. Uh, if you're not in it to be a world champ, then you shouldn't even be doing it at all. If you're in it to be an image guy or, you know, you want to be cool, you know, this is not the fucking sport. You're going to get hurt, you know, you're going to get taken out real quick. I want to be the best of the best, pound for pound, one of the greatest fighters that ever lived. I want people to remember me as, you know, there's Herman Toronto, you know. He went through some wars. He put on a show. Every time Herman Toronto fights, you know, I want the fans to be excited, you know, like, oh shit, you know, this is going to be an awesome fucking fight because Herman Toronto puts it on the line. And that's how I fight, you know. I go out there and give it everything I got. I'd rather lose by knockout than win by decision. Winning by decision is, is weak. You know? I'd rather, you know, go out there and give it everything I got and fucking bang and, and try to break that guy's will. And if I get caught, I get caught. As long as I'm breathing, I'm still fighting. I'll fight anyone. I don't give a fuck. You can choke me, beat the fuck out of me. It doesn't matter. As long as I'm breathing, I'm still fucking coming at you. When I fight, you choke me. I don't give a fuck. I won't tap, you know? You, you grab my arm, fuck, break my arm. If uh, the rep don't stop it, I got another one. Respect all my training partners. Respect the sport. And uh, where I come from, respect is a big three. You know, I come from the island of Guam. That's all you got is your word and your respect. Uh, once you lose that, you know, you, you don't got much. In this sport, you definitely got to earn what you have. You got to go out there and fucking put your life on the line, you know? 
you got to remember that. It, it could be one punch, one slam, you know, and your fucking life is over, man. Your life, your career, everything. So with that said, I think, you know, people should respect us more because we're not barbarians. We're not fucking stupid. We're educated too, you know? We work hard and we have families too, just like everyone else. And we have regular lives outside the cage. There's just critics of the sport, you know, that insult it. They've never even fucking been through it. Never threw a punch in their life and don't know what it takes. Just to step in the fucking cage takes balls, man. It takes heart. I mean, knowing that that guy across the cage wants to fucking take you out. When you go in there with that mindset, you better fucking take it serious. The best we can do is prepare ourselves for it and go out there and do our best to put on a good show for what people pay lots of money for. Give them what they deserve. They pay all this money, let's give them a good show, you know? They wanna see us bleed, we're gonna fucking bleed. They wanna see a knockout, we're gonna give them a fucking knockout. That's our job. Thank you.